हेलो 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 हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो की हाल चाल आई होप यूर गुड इन दिस बी गोन सी ए प्रॉब्लम मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑपरेशन टू मूव आउट मूव वंस टू द एंड ऑफ द स्ट्रिंग नाउ प्रॉब्लम नंबर फोर इज ऑलरेडी लाइफ यू कैन जस्ट कॉन्चेक इट आउट इट से गिवन द बाइनरी स्ट्रिंग एस एंड वी कैन परफॉर्म द फॉलोइंग ऑपरेशन ऑन द स्ट्रिंग एनी नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स वॉट इज ऑपरेशन लाइक द ऑपरेशन इज चूज एनी इंडेक्स फ्रॉम द स्ट्रिंग एस such that firstly it is not the last index and it is having a value of 1 and just next element to it has a value of 0 so i have to choose any index such that it is 1 and its next value is a 0 that is a prime thing now i can move that character s of i which means this cut i can move it to the end of the array or any one which comes first if i have all the zeros here i will move it to the end of the array or if i have any one i will move it just up till that specific one or before it i have to return the maximum of operations i can perform if i want to replicate this process or i want to do this process how many times i can perform this process so we will take the first example again as i always recommend take the example by yourself i have a 1 0 0 1 like this now one thing is obvious i can only take ones which means these are the candidates and one thing is obvious the last person is not the good candidate because he is at the last i mentioned specifically i want someone not not at the end and what about you might ask arin if i had few ones extra in the end still although we realize this is not the candidate but these are also not the good candidate why because for this one next element is a one for this one next is a one so all these and there is no matter what i can never shift them so these are also not the good candidates now you might say arin this seems a good candidate but by your saying this is also not a good candidate i will say no let's focus on one thing one so this one is a good candidate because his next is zero i can shift him to the right side okay as i shift him this place will become a zero he will shift up till he find the end or up till he find the nearest one he will shift to the end and this is the nearest one he will come here one operation done then you will see another one oh again i have next element as zero again shift it so this will become a zero and thus i will make my one reach here two operations done next time you will see this is the next candidate you will again one and next i have zero so again make it reach to the end so this will come here three operations done so it seems like answer is 3 is the answer 3 oh answer is not 3 answer is 4 ah why is that the case let's look back now rather than performing this entire thing which we were doing earlier let's do it and think what and how the answer that's reason i always recommend try by yourself and get to the answer here 1 0 0 1 1 cool now if i would have moved from the extreme left so this one i would have moved to the end which means here the one would have come so you realized one operation done now you have three ones which i can move one by one to the end so this i can move in one operation here next i will move this here next i will move this here three operations more done total operations will be four thus you realized that if the problem is of the fashion let's see again let's don't put the underscores let's i have one 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 some number of zeros i have some ones then some zeros then ones like this I, if the problem is like this then we realized firstly they have zero impact they will not even impact the answer these ones i can shift them once only because they will give a impact of only one because you realized all these ones gave a impact of only ones only one they could have resulted in the answer or the operation only once but these one first they can come here then they can reach here so they will have impact of 2 so their impact was 1 
here the impact was two same way if i have one here and some zeros here so all these will have an impact of three because firstly they firstly they all will come here then they all will come here then they all will come here impact of three which means they will have three times like three operations will be impacted by these four ones so we ultimately have to count these so i will count okay how many ones are there in the beginning okay next how many ones are there i have four ones but their impact is only one next how many ones are there i have three ones but their impact is two so answer uh, basically uh, impact in the answer will be three into two here i have four ones impact of all of them will be three so four into three addition in my answer so this is how i just need to get the count of some bunch of count of some bunch of ones and currently their impact in the beginning i can start my impact from zero and then i can keep on moving keep on moving cool let's see how we will code this up so again you will see that exact same we can do in a one pass thing but i'll show you how we'll do it or how i have done it so firstly i have a string s i'll firstly reverse it so that i can start iterating from my end because you know here the first group have an impact of zero next group impact of one next group impact of three so i have to iterate in from actually the right side so i will just simply reverse the string now firstly i found out the actual starting index from where i can start my impact as one so i know that all these are not actually useful for me so this is my actual starting index and make sure i'm moving in to the from right to left so this is now my actual starting index cool so this you will see i i reached onto the first zero from the start and when i say start i mean i have reversed it already now i know the first group of ones i will have to grab their corresponding count and that specific group of one after i have grabbed okay how many one consecutive ones are there their corresponding impact is this so in the answer i will say this is the count of ones and the corresponding impact i know for the next group of one impact will be increased by one and also as you can see j is increased j plus plus so make sure to do a j equal to minus one cool and then ultimately return your answer if you want to do a quick dry run let's do a quick, quick dry run on this example one zero zero one one zero one so i have one zero zero one one zero one so in the very beginning i will have to reverse it so i will do a 1011001 let's put the indexes of them also 0123456 after applying this first operation my start index will actually reach where i get the first non zero value so this is my start index now this is my start index i will start iterating from here impact is right now 1 answer is 0 so okay answer is 0 start index is this i will move on okay if it is zero simply move on my i points here if my i points here okay it is a one so firstly get how many such ones are there one how many such ones are there i have two ones so my j will also point here and then okay j plus plus one okay j plus plus i like okay zero so break as i break i got my count count has become two now the count has become two impact right now is one count is two impact is 1 contribution the answer will be 2 into 1 okay now where should your i start from technically your i should start from your j but you will see that your i will be increasing your for loop is actually increasing your i so i will make my i back to j minus 1 and then i will and as as it reaches the next for loop i will be increased and thus i will come here it's a zero continue it's a zero continue now next time i again got a one if i again got a one it will again come here j count will be one impact is now two so simply my answer contribution will be 2 into 1 as you can see 1 into 2 so 1 into 2 thus the answer is 4 and ultimately it will go to the end thus you have achieved your final answer time will be simply o of n space as you see you have not used any extra space at all just your string is being reversed that can be reversed in place if you want you can make a new copy that's totally up to you um if you want you can iterate from the end also reversal is not even required at all so your space will be o of 1 again reversal is not required you can iterate from the end that's what you can do it's just for our simplicity we have reversed it 
Now you might say, Aaron, I see it is it in two pass. I can do it in one pass. Exactly. You can do it in one pass. Just do one thing. Start your index from zero or you can see as zero and have your initial impact as zero because you know, in the very beginning, it will not have anything, but make sure you handle the case that you are covering. I'm, I'm saying that if you have one, zero, zero, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, these two will have an impact. Their impact should start from one. Only the ones which are actually starting from the end, their impact will be zero. So you can have a one pass approach, but make sure to handle this case in that approach itself. Cool. I hope you guys got it again. Thinking wise, it was easy. Implementation wise, a bit people get a bit worried about it. And that's a simple greedy. And the best part is in today's contest, all problems were greedy. Bye bye. Take care. Do connect on Twitter.